Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. Today I'm going to show you a very useful technique how to use several masks on the same layer. Most of the times when you want to make selections and you want to use them non-destructively, you should work with masks. This topic is really big and uh, we can talk a lot about using pixel masks and vector masks. But in this case, I just would like to show you quickly how to create a selection for this glass by using only pixel masks in this case. So let me just join these two documents. As you can see, I dragged and dropped it, uh, the glass on top of another background. And I would like to get rid of the white background. Now, a fast way to do that, obviously, is using the magic wand. So I just selected the magic wand from the toolbar and I can change the tolerance here on the top, increase it a little bit and then I can click here on the background. Now as you can see, the further you uh, increase the tolerance, the more it will select from the image. Based on the selected color, it will look for similar colors. And as you can see here on the glass, these parts are very similar uh, to the background. So they are too bright. So now if I decrease the tolerance let's say I set it somewhere around 8 or 9 and then I click on the background again I just deselected my previous selection and I clicked on the background again now it is much better so we have a nice clean edge now around uh, this object and all I need to do is just turn this into a mask so save my selection as a mask I'm going to the masks panel and here I click on add a pixel mask, this little icon here on the top right. As soon as it's created, the mask, we can click on invert here also in the masks panel to invert our mask and show the, the object and not the background. You can also see sometimes these thin lines on the edges. That's because we use the magic wand and uh, on the edges of the document there are a couple of pixels that uh, the magic one couldn't select. In this case what I usually do is I alt click on the mask's thumbnail in the layers panel. So here I alt click on that little thumbnail, hold down alt and click and then use uh, the rectangular selection tool and select everything around the object. Then go to select choose inverse to invert the selection and then press alt backspace if you have black as your foreground color if not you can press d and then use alt backspace alt backspace or option backspace is the keyboard shortcut to fill in with the foreground color but if you don't like keyboard shortcuts you can always use edit fill and then choose foreground color or black simply okay once you have that, you can alt click on the thumbnail again and now you can see there's no leftovers on the edges. So no matter what uh, zoom ratio I'm using, I will never see that little halo around the original edge. Now, this is so far a really simple example with using only one pixel mask for a selection to make it non-destructive. Where on the mask, white shows black hides. So when I alt click on the mask, that shows me the mask view and there you can see why it shows black hides. That's how masking works. But also masking can help you to make an even better selection and to show the transparency of this glass. And for that, I'm going to use another mask. Now, how can I use two layer masks or pixel masks on the same layer? It's only possible if you have a pixel mask and a vector mask, that's easy. So you can create a pixel and a vector mask. As you can see, I just added a vector mask on the same layer. But in this case, I don't need the vector mask. I need another pixel mask where I can play with the opacity and the colors that I use or the brightness of the colors that I use. So the secret is that you can create layer groups even if it's only for one layer. I press Command G or Control G on PC will create a group for your layer. Now, once you have a group, 
you can create a mask for that group itself and that's what I'm going to do now so I'm going to make a selection and let me use now the magic one tool or actually I'm going to use the quick selection tool and I'm going to draw over this area here but you also need to make sure that you have the image selected when you want to make selections based on an image so now I made a selection around this part which should be more transparent than the part where we have the drink itself so now that I have the selection I go back to the group so I select the group uh, here in my layers panel and I click on the mask option so create a, create a pixel mask the only problem is that these two masks now they work together so the one on the top will override the one below it that's because this is on the top and this affects everything inside this group so I have two masks and they are interacting with each other now what I would like to do is I would like to decrease the intensity of this mask here on the top so if I change the density I will be able to see the other part more and this part on the top less and I can also use the invert option which will make the top part transparent and opaque the bottom part opaque so I can use density in the masks panel if I decrease the density that will decrease the density of the mask hence helping me to see uh, more of the original object so I have two masks now and as you can see I can separately use them and separately um, define what is the density that I need in this case I'm going for something around 25 percent something like this but I would like to also make this part here on the top even more transparent because uh, you can imagine and let me just draw this quickly on a separate layer so I just show you that this part let me make my brush a bit smaller so this part has two layers so here around the glass we have two layers of glass while on this part here we have only one layer of glass so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to create another group so on top of this group I create another group so the layer is now inside two subgroups and while I have the group on the top selected I'm going to make a quick selection now again with the magic one tool but actually I need the image selected first of all then I may click on that elliptical uh, shape on the top then I go back to the group on the top and I create a pixel mask again as usual I click then on invert because I would like to affect only that part on the top and with this mask the third pixel mask on the same layer I can affect only that part on the top so I can change the density and this is what I wanted to achieve so have the glass where we have the vine opaque then this part where we have the two layers of glass more transparent and even more transparent where there is only one layer of glass so now if I move the whole group together for example on an edge you can see that we see through these two layers of glass but we see through even more here on the top when there's only one layer of glass and the great thing with using layer masks and this, at this time three of them on the same layer so the great thing with them is that you can always go back and change the density so for example here if I change my mind and I want to make it even more opaque I can easily do that just go there and change the density and there are so many other ways to use uh, this advantage of several layer masks for example if I want to again keep it separate I can create again another group and I create a mask a fourth mask in this case and I can use my brush tool and I'm going to use a soft edge brush and let me just zoom a bit closer and here with a 10% opacity and a black 
a soft edge brush I can draw on the side both sides left and right just to make a nice uh, glass feel so it will emphasize this a bit more if I shift click on the mask I can turn it off and if I shift click on it again I can turn it on again so you can see that extra uh, little brush strokes make it a bit even more uh, realistic the whole selection so if I turn off these masks let me turn of all of them shift clicking on the masks we can get back to the uh, completely back to the original image and that shows that it's completely non-destructive the whole uh, selection uh, technique that I'm showing to you then I shift click on the first one which removes the original background then I show the second mask which makes this top part more transparent then the third one which makes that part even more transparent and the fourth one which again adds a bit more transparency uh, on the glass so all together the four layer masks help me to achieve this nice transparent look on this glass I hope you found this tutorial useful and I hope you will be able to use this technique later on in your own work Thanks a lot for your attention and I hope you will join me next time as well.